All right. How's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So what I want to get into today is sport coats um, or suits, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, I'm mainly going to be specific regarding sport coats. And a lot of my age demographic is younger guys. And I created a program called Mastering Self-Confidence. It's to help men find the woman or women of their dreams, even if they've been through a bad breakup or divorce. And that seemed to really um, resonate with a lot of younger people, it seems like. Also, my podcast and my video. So I've been getting hit up a lot with younger guys, um, too, regarding wanting to live a certain lifestyle and not being able to afford it. I get it, and I want to help you do that uh, if I can. Now, if you think you are going to live a lifestyle of a multimillionaire and uh, make not that much money, that's going to be pretty hard. But I do have some things I think I can teach you throughout either my program or just my videos where you can start to learn to save money, which is going to help you obviously maybe invest it in different things that will make you more money, let's just say for instance. But in this case, I actually just did a video. It was about two videos actually. Uh, one was about um, making sure your clothes fit. Most men don't realize that they look like shit in a lot of their clothes, especially if they've gained or lost weight, they still haven't you know, purchase clothes that fit them correctly, or when buying clothes, they just don't take enough time to make sure it looks good on them, or they just buy it online, and they just wear it, or their girlfriend, husband, boyfriend, whatever the hell buys it for them, and they just wear it. Um, so no matter what happens in life, you got to make sure your clothes fit you, you know, pretty well, if you want to look good. I mean, it's just, if you don't care, you don't care. But in this case, I'm going to jump into a sport coat because I know a lot of young people, including my cousins, family members, nieces, nephews, everybody in between. I should have said nieces, but nephews. They don't even have a sport coat anymore. And if they do, most of them outgrow, outgrow it very quickly. So it doesn't even fit them anymore. They may have gotten one for a wedding previously, a baptism, christening, whatever the case may be. Or even if they're an adult, um, they may have one. It could be kind of out of style. It could be a certain color. Um, it's just sport coats in general just don't seem to be as popular people wearing as much as they used to in their past. Now, of course, there's different occasions where you're going to wear sport coats. But if you're younger, a lot of times, um, a lot of guys depend, I think, if they're standing up in a wedding or whatever the case may be, or I'm seeing more and more is just long sleeve dress shirts with bow tie or regular tie. That's kind of uh, really acceptable and a vest as well. You can just, you know, not wearing a sport coat is, you know, becoming more and more common, I believe. Um, and here's the thing though, you are going to need a sport coat eventually, I believe, no matter who the hell you are. Okay. You're going to at least have to have one that fits you correctly. And a lot of times when I hear people pitch clothes or all these gurus on fashion, all these things, they're like, Oh, you need, you know, you need a dark blue one, right? You may need a black one. You definitely want to have a gray one. Uh, you know, you may want this. You may want that. I'm like, a lot of this is bullshit, especially if you're younger, somebody, and you don't know what you're going to be in the future body-wise, okay? Even if you just graduated high school, I don't care if you're college, you're going to a lot of times gain weight, lose weight, maybe take up working out, maybe go on a diet, whatever the case may be. A lot of your clothes, you've got to be careful. You may not fit in them in six months, a year, whatever the case may be. Clothing, I always pitch, is disposable. Now, there are certain pieces that are very high-end that you don't want to get rid of and that you love. And obviously, you know, if you have money to buy whatever the hell you want, I'm not saying clothes are disposable when you're spending multi, multi, you know, thousands of dollars on them. But for the most part, people, you know, these clothes, you know, like this is a golf shirt, whatever the case may be, I'm going to wear it and call it a day. I'm either going to give it away to somebody, a friend or a family member, or I'm going to donate it. It's, it's just, that's how it is. And that's how I think a lot of people need to look at clothing. Now, if you want to be a collector, my father's a collector. He still has clothes from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. He loves that. And listen, I love vintage clothes. If you want to do that as well, wonderful, but I'm not talking about that. Uh, what I'm really talking about is what sport coat I would recommend. And I would say at first, you only need one. Now, people may be like, you're an asshole, you're crazy. That's going to get filthy and dirty. It probably isn't because you're not going to be wearing it that often. Now, if you are somebody who's doing conventions or traveling a ton and you are wearing a lot of sport coats, uh, then obviously you have to have more. But for the average person, a lot of, you know, out there, one or two max, what I would do is get a dark blue suit that fits you perfectly. Now, you can buy that 
resale, consignment, goodwill, or you could just go to a mall or you could go to a curbside, whatever. But the trick is it's got to look great on you. All right. That's the one thing. Also, I wouldn't always get caught up with certain types of fashion, whatever's trending now. So for instance, if you're a bigger dude and you go to a thin lapel, I don't think that's going to look good on you. I would go with something very simple that is always kind of in style, which would be kind of a medium, but I like a big lapel. That's just me. But again, don't get too trendy also in buying a coat where you could just tell maybe it'll be out of style in six months to a year. All right. Um, But back to the one coat. A lot of times if you get one coat that fits you, you know, really well, what you need to think about and this is a trick I, I've learned throughout the years. People a lot of times will see you in that coat. They're not going to remember you the time you wore whatever color you wore before or whatever the case may be. They're going to remember little small details. So what I tell people, if you can't afford a lot of sport coats, so say you're back to your one blue, dark blue sport coat, and you know maybe invest in pocket scarves. Now, you may not like that at all. I get it. I kind of dig them as long as they're not too explosive. But if you just get some pocket scarves and you can sometimes get them again, very cheap, you can get them for five or 10 bucks. And every time you wear that suit, you wear a different pocket scarf. It changes the whole look. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now. So every time you wear that sport coat, if you're seeing the same people, for instance, or even if you're on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, change the pocket scarf up. It's going to give that whole jacket a different look. Now, when it comes to shirts, which I'm going to be doing a separate video on that, I believe, in my opinion, if you can't afford a lot, two white dress shirts that are mint, that are beautiful on you. Again, they have to fit. One, I would definitely get a cufflink style one. Okay. You're going to probably have to buy cufflinks as well. Again, you can get those cheap online. You can get them again at a consignment, Goodwill, anywhere. Or people, a lot of, if you have family members, friends, or a father, brother, whoever, a lot of times they have extra cufflinks sitting, cufflinks sitting around. You may want to just borrow them, even if you can't afford them. But you also want a white, you know, regular dress sleeve, uh, long dress sleeve shirt. That's just a button up. So now you have two white shirts. Okay. I believe those are the two you need and make sure the collars look, you know, really good, crisp. And now that for starters is a great start for you. I promise you, let's not get caught up now. Of course, you could go out and buy a black shirt. You could go out and buy, you know, maybe a a red shirt. You could start a yellow shirt, blue. The list goes on and on. That's fine. And that's wonderful. So that's what I would recommend. Not spending a ton of money on sport coats that you're not going to wear that often. What you're most likely going to be wearing more often are your dress shirts. Maybe when you, you know, even when you're not wearing your sport coat, a lot of times you may be wearing those dress shirts. All right. So those are the things you really got to think about. Same with, say you want to wear a, you know, not even a dress long sleeve shirt uh, under your sport coat. Again, I would go with white. White always to me, always is going to look crisp and clean under that sport coat. So if you want to get a golf shirt, kind of go with a short sleeve under a coat. People do that as well. You know, you go out, especially if you live in Florida, California, Arizona, you may go to a certain occasion where you're wearing that sport coat, you take it off and you're kind of wearing a short sleeve. Some people may not like that because the sleeve isn't long enough and whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm just telling you, if you want to do that, I feel like it's definitely, you can do that. Um, and the other thing I would mention too, again, if you ties, so if you do go to a certain occasion and you have to wear a tie bow tie or regular tie, don't spend tons of money on this stuff. And I get a lot of times, you know, you want to boom and bang and tie. Take the time to go shop for one. There's so many different deals. If you can't afford it for you, you know, if you can't, if you have a certain budget, going out and spending a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars on a tie is kind of whack. Again, you may have friends, family members, colleagues that have a lot of ties sitting around. Just ask them. Hey, you got any extra ties? Or again, going to a resale store, Goodwill, or even going to a lower, like store, like say TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls. I. And I am going to say this too. I wouldn't fall again for the trendy style ties a lot of times. Like, right, they could be too thin. Again, if you're too big, if that's what you want to do, kind of stay in the middle so you're never out of style. I have a saying, never uh, follow a trend, set the trend. And that's kind of just something I always said, or I say is what I should say. But yeah, I just wanted to do something on this. And this is what I'm going to wrap it up with. If you are going to get a second coat, now people may disagree with me, which I could care less, I'd go with the black one. I would definitely make sure, though, it looks much different than your other one. I would almost want it to look like a tuxedo. The reason being is because you can 
pull it off as a tuxedo. You, you know, a lot of times we may have to go to a black tie affair or you may have to just go to a certain occasion where, you know, you want it, they, you want to look like it's a tux and you don't have to spend the money renting it. And you definitely, if you don't have the money to go buy one, you can make a black suit look very close to a tux. Again, we're going to use the white shirt with the cufflinks, uh, you know, you're going to want to probably get a bow tie. And if you are going to get a bow tie, I should have recommend, I would definitely go to black or a white traditional because any black and white affair you're going to go to, it's always going to work. And if you like colors, you can do that as well. That's just a starting point or a black tie. And you can get any black pants, right? And wear it with that black coat. And it's going to be very close to a tuxedo. And if you really want to go crazy, you might be able to find Sometimes I see them all the time, and that's in uh, consignment shops, resale shops. They have tuxedo pants, which has kind of the stripe on the side. They sell them sometimes separately very cheap, or they're just selling a whole tuxedo very cheap because it's used or it's older. With the pants, though, if you want to you know, take it to the next level, but you can just wear any type of black pants usually as long as they're dress pants. Wear them with a black coat, white shirt again that we were talking about, bow tie or black tie, and you have a tuxedo. You know, it's the trick to truly, I think, saving money, excuse me, saving money with clothes is not over spending. If you go in most people's closets, a lot of times a majority of the clothes they have in there, they're not wearing. It's all dead inventory. And they also spent a lot of money on things they don't wear that often. What I want to teach people is we're going to wear the things we purchase. All right. That's the main thing. And again, also, we're not spending so much money on something that we're, we we don't want to let it go or, or we don't, I guess you could say, too, a lot of people buy things that are high end and they're almost afraid to wear them. That's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to buy clothes that fit you very well, that you have no problem, you know, being comfortable in and they are kind of disposable, even though they look great. All right. So that's just my opinion on the one, uh, the one coat scenario. Again, I would just go with a dark blue coat. They go with everything. I like gray. A lot of other people don't, but kind of gray. If you wear a gray coat over and over and over again, it kind of gets, you kind of like looking at someone saying, wow, they only seem to have one type of coat, but with the dark blue with some, I should say this as well. Sometimes it comes down to your buttons with any suit that really knocks it out of the park. I purchased a Xenia coat. It was like 150, uh, I'm sorry, about $1,500 coat for 70 bucks once. And I still have it actually. I talked about it in a previous video. The buttons are gorgeous in Xenia. When I wear it, it just pops. So again, you may just get a standard you know, sport coat. And if you can only spend 40, 50 bucks, do it. But take a look sometimes at the buttons. If they're not nice, you can go and have some buttons tailored or put on there and you can pick them out that pop. And that's going to be something that could be a game changer where all of a sudden you made your coat look like just a regular dark blue sport coat. And all of a sudden now it looks like a very high end coat. All right. And again, if you have the money to spend on whatever you you know, if you have tons of money, God bless you, do whatever you want. But if you don't, just really pay attention that you don't overspend when shopping, especially on clothing that you don't wear that often as well, is what I should say. And um, yeah, we'll get in the shoes and all that other stuff, but I would recommend just getting, always having, I should say, one nice pair of black dress shoes that you always have to wear, that you can always wear with anything. Start with that. Don't get all crazy with all different pattern style shoes or different colors or any of that. Stick with those beautiful, a beautiful, nice pair. That does not mean you have to go spend hundreds upon hundreds of dollars. As long as they're clean, they're black and have a little style and they're nice, they're going to always look great. And maybe you should just keep them separate. So every time you do go to a certain occasion, you know, those are there. I have a patent leather pair that I wear like that, that I only wear when I go to like black tie affairs or high end places. So they always look brand new. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Hopefully that helped you. Uh, if you get a chance, check out my podcast, The Rich Chalenza Show. I also have um, my program. You can find that on richchalenza.com. That's Mastering Self-Confidence. I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You get a chance, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to hit me up. I love helping people. All right, take care. Mm -hmm.